Joining me now, Chris Farrell, Director of Investigations and Research for Judicial Watch. Chris, good to see you. Uh, it, it, it's, um, what do you think of what Schiff's saying? I mean, at one moment, he's acknowledging that the President of the United States in 2016, Barack Obama, didn't do a thing about Russian interference in the election, about which he knew. Lou, it's great to have you back. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, look, this is concurrent with the same time that Hillary Clinton and her husband were involved in uh, Uranium One. Right. So, I mean, this is a pattern in practice. Schiff is in a tough spot. He's got the last presidential candidate from his party and his party itself busy funding a Russian active measures campaign to try to smear the political opponent while manipulating the judicial system and co-opting the FBI. How do you walk away from that? How do you try to turn that into a smiley face? Yeah. So the whole objective of this memo is to blur and kind of muddy the water and, you know, make, de make declarations in the memo that you have sworn testimony from the disgraced FBI director yeah. and the now fired deputy director McCabe, both under oath saying that the Fusion GPS steel me uh, dossier was the foundation right. piece for the FISA warrant. How do you... So, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I said, and then just go read the crazy Strzok page text messages. What more do you need? Uh, I, I, indeed, the question is, why isn't there an active investigation of the FBI, its leadership, uh, and I know that there's just so many, I, and I'm sitting here, I'm not a fan of congressional investigations, but I frankly don't know who the hell else to turn to here. Well, I, got, I, I, I have sorry. to give Mr. Nunez credit because oh, at I least he's the moved the ball down the field. Absolutely. I, I agree I, with you. For the we, most part, they're a waste of time, but in this case, there's one good exception. Yeah. Let, exactly. And, and, and by the way, just to be clear, I, we have given uh, Devin Nunez and the House Intelligence Committee all the credit in the world, uh, not as much as they deserve, but uh, all the credit in the world. Sure, sure. Because uh, without Judicial Watch, without the House Intelligence Committee, where the hell are the American people? I mean, we we are sitting here, uh, we're the mushrooms. They keep throwing that stuff on top of us and keeping us in the dark. Uh, you know, f and for all the world, it, the national left-wing media is quite content to let us stay there uh, in that state. Uh, yeah. There's, there's a thundering silence, a thundering silence on the left. Uh, there's been virtually no real substantive reporting on this uh, DNC, Hillary Clinton subsidizing of a Russian uh, influence operation. There's no discussion of it. And there's very little attention paid to the liaison or the, the communications between the McCabe Strzok Page world of the FBI right. and the Obama White House. They had meetings there. Who's discussing that? Right. What role did Lisa Monaco have in the White House as the contact person Do for you this FBI campaign? Do you recall when the, uh, when the Obama administration sent out a new policy statement on cyber attacks, uh, effectively saying, that when uh, a cyber attack against the United States is so injurious to national security, we will respond to what we will interpret as an act of war. What could be more of a injurious attack than one our, uh, on our electoral system, on our political system, than that conducted by the Russians uh, throughout 2016? We know it went back to 2014. Through all of that time, the Obama administration is either it was effectively acknowledging it was impotent or indifferent to respond to uh, to that attack, uh, and now you, you, you know you just have to ask yourself, where in the hell are we headed? Are we absolutely incapable of responding to an attack by a sovereign power like Russia, like China, uh, or are we, uh, in point of fact? Uh, trying to play a different game here. Somehow, we've got to make sense of the last five years in this country, and it's very hard to do without taking a look at the entire Obama administration and its policies and its, and its decisions and uh, choices in foreign policy. Their predisposition was a race to the bottom, right? They wanted to define what a new normal was. 
They wanted to advocate our simply accepting terrorism as just that's just the way it's going to be. They had the same approach with respect to our foreign, our foreign policy leading from behind. They had the same approach when it came to Russia. So there, there, there's no, they're coming from an ideological and philosophical point of view that was about the denigration of the United States, and they were willing to accept that. So no one should be surprised. You know, Obama promised fundamental transformation, and he delivered. And he delivered, yet we have a Congress made up of people who talk about bipartisanship, who have focused their energies and the uh, resources of this government particularly the FBI, the Justice Department, along with three, uh, you know, uh, crows on a, on a wire uh, by the, you know, Comey uh, and Clapper uh, and Brennan, who've been acting against the interests of the United States throughout, from the candidacy of President Trump in, uh, in 2016 to his administration in 2017 and 18. This is a, an affront to the American system of government. Uh, it is a, an absolute subversion of a constitutionally elected president. These are self-anointed uh, guardians of what their vision of America should be. Uh, they're disgraces. I mean, Clapper's lied under oath. He's been caught. Why aren't they he, in jail is my only question. Why in the world are they not in jail? Well, if we had an attorney general who would impanel a grand jury and move on it, we might, but that's not happening for whatever reason. Do you think it should? Absolutely. We're, we're way beyond it. Lou, you and I have been talking about this for practically a year now. There's got to be action taken. I'm fed up with all the double talk and the hearings. We need grand juries and indictments and convictions. That's the, if we don't change now, if we don't see real action now, the country is going to continue to slide and slide and slide toward that failed state that's on the horizon.